talk a lot about Doppler radar. It helps us forecast the weather. Now, get ready for Doppler dentistry. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favre is here to explain. Sounds very interesting, Marianne. It is. This non-invasive technology uses no radiation, and it can actually give you the chance to prevent a cavity and avoid needing a filling. So you're going to put your glasses on for me? I'm just going Kristen Quarry is a busy nursing student who admits she hasn't been to the dentist in a while. She wants to see how her teeth are doing, and this technology is enabling her to do that without an x-ray. At Innovative Dental Concepts in San Ramon, Dr. Parag Kachalya is using spectra technology to get this sophisticated image of her tooth. There is no radiation that's being used in an image like this. The blue indicates a high level of bacteria, and red means a bacteria is already beginning to penetrate the tooth enamel. If I see an area that there's a concern, whether in a very, very early stage, we can actually implement preventive therapies. So we don't have to get to a filling. We can talk about different fluoride regimens, different brushing techniques. Because these pictures capture decay early, even if patients require a filling, they often only need a tiny one, which may not even require anesthesia. These pictures also motivate patients to improve their habits because they can clearly see the problem zones in their mouth. You're looking straight at your tooth going, oh my goodness, okay, I do have to floss, or yeah, I need to brush more. The images also provide a great baseline picture for Kristen, so when she comes back, she'll be able to see if the changes she plans to make really are making a difference in her mouth. This technology doesn't entirely replace the need for x-rays, which are still needed to catch other problems in your mouth, but it does spare patients from having the dentist do that intense picking and probing that we all hate to discover the cavities. Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. Very high tech. Thanks so much, Marianne. Still